Head northwest on State Road S27302 toward Campground Road. Morning. We're on video. Oh, good morning. Smile, you're on candid camera. <laughs> because we're going on an adventure. This is, uh, what is today, the 25th? Yes. And uh, South Carolina has started lifting some of their stay in place restrictions. Mm -hmm. And uh, Georgia started lifting theirs yesterday. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna take off and go exploring. We're going to Savannah. Huh? Which was high on the list of uh, places we wanted to see while we were here and uh, we didn't think we were going to get to go so we're still going to practice social distancing but that's something we like to do anyway so that's not going to be a problem. So now we're going to what part? Forsyth. Forsyth? Forsyth. And Savannah? <laughs> and Savannah. Supposedly there's a farmer's market from 9 to 1 every Saturday. Ran out time and I checked and it's supposed to be open, so that'd be cool. I don't know. Maybe. With all this COVID stuff, I don't know if there's a lot of hope for it, but we'll find out. One of the things we like to do is find a place to park and walk to as many places as we can. Driving in Dooley, especially in historic district, <laughs> districts, has been kind of a challenge. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> and now we're headed to St. John's uh, Catholic Church, which is probably half a mile from here. Probably, yeah. And uh, see what we can see on the way. Now we're going to walk another half mile to a pink house. The old pink house. Well, one of the cool things that happens whenever we're walking around is we just happen upon uh, the quirky stuff like here at the Savannah uh, Police Department. Uh, the police Department was established, what is it? 1854. 1854. Huh? Um, and there's a 1953 cop car. So that's pretty cool. If you have to ride in the police car, uh, it costs you about $1,800. But if you choose to ride in the cab portion, it's about 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It's, uh, I guess, the best way to multi-purpose and uh, save yourself from getting a DD DUI. Choose your ride. Things are still eerily quiet, uh, even though the 
stay in place orders have been lifted um, or starting to lift here in Georgia. Um, I mean, it's like nine o'clock, it's after nine o'clock in the morning on Saturday and the streets are dead. Interesting times we're living in. Yep. This is kind of an interesting thing that I haven't seen anywhere else. Little uh, in the ground dog poop containers. Yep, just a trash can where you drop your poop. And apparently other things. <laughs> this is uh, Savannah's Irish and Robert Emmett Park. Um, not sure about what all that is, but we'll see if we can walk down to the parking areas and get some uh, shots of that. It's a really neat place. Here's a place that we've been to before in the past. Uh, there's a lot of like strip malls and stuff over here and uh you can drive in and park in what they used to have like horse and carriage parking and stuff so this is an example uh it's been bricked up but that used to be open you can get in there and walk around or drive or whatever but uh, we'll see if we can find one that's open still and check it out So all of the uh, underground parking areas that I saw were all bricked off now. So apparently you can't park under there. Well, they've probably had enough people scraping their cars on the brick and making a fit about it. They could let people park there. There's a pink house. Pink House is now a restaurant, but it was built as a mansion in 1771 by James Habersham Jr. Habersham Lama Lama. <laughs> James Habersham Jr. And it was one of the only buildings to survive the fire of 1796. Pretty cool. The restaurant is unfortunately still closed, but a very cool place nonetheless. I don't know if you can tell in the background, but we are standing in the middle of the, the uh, political forest. <laughs> All the branches are crooked. <laughs>